Damn, bro, we really hit like all three stages as a competitor. No one expected us to achieve what we did. We changed the NA landscape for the best. Five fresh faces who now stand guard over the North American region. This team is so cool. They came out of nowhere. There's no way you can't be proud of what we've done. We're not rookies anymore. Can you remember anything about like the early time period of boot camping? How were things going back then? How were you feeling? Oh, I remember the preseason. Attending like fuller 10, 10Ks and barely making it out of groups, scrapping for our lives, and the results just weren't there. I was like, God, how is it even possible to lose with this roster? Our level of play just we were just like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe we're playing this bad, like getting grouped in land and like losing in these open tournaments. Like, dude, how like how can this even happen? I'll just say it's new team excuse, but no, but it was looking pretty rough for us. We made like a roster change and we were honestly like we were feeling like shit. From the beginning when we played with Trent, I was like, this kid is gonna be special, this is our next guy, and uh, you know, the rest took care of itself. DJ trying to play Legolas and Trent stays alive. Now look at the HP. It's a 1v2 and it's doable. He spots out one wall bang. Where is it? It's a possibility trying to line it up. Trent, he finds it! And now it's a one versus one. Unaware of the position of the other last known. In close to single bullet reveal a wall bang! It is Trent! No way! Yep. Trent, the yep. new pickup on Sova was... That's it. I mean, man, that team looks good. Our goal was to be a top eight team. We were not expecting to be champions. We weren't expecting any of that. We just wanted to be a top eight team and have some respect like on this org, on our names and as a team. No one's expect us to like qualify or making a good resort, you know? So we have a, literally, literally no pressure. The pressure was on the other teams we were playing because nobody wants to lose to these young kids, like no names just coming up. So we kind of just went into it as a, let's see what we can do and just give it our all. on a two versus one. Oh, what a got what he got. Oh, it so there is so much room to grow for the guard and for them to be so good already is so exciting he tripwire in his way to dashing it oh, what is he doing Saya player I think the biggest moment in stage one was either the 13-0 against other thieves a statement from the guard 13 to 0 over a hundred thieves like that does not happen very often, or when we beat Cloud9 to qualify. I think those were the two biggest shock factors that we 3 0 Cloud9 or the 13-0 uh, the because that is very difficult to do against anyone, let alone a, a team like 100 Thieves. Nice. Nice. The vibes were like at an all-time high. All five of us were just on a tear, and we all were playing individually insane, and we played well together. I felt like we were really unstoppable, and you could literally just feel it like in the air. Like it, it, You can't explain it in words, but as a competitor, you just feel it. Like. You can't lose. When you get that feeling, it's pretty scary for the other teams. And as the green wall crumbles, it's five fresh faces who now stand guard over the North American region. I remember, you know, in the complexity offices, like literally breaking down into tears because I was so happy that, you know, we had just qualified. That was the goal from the start. Being able to reach that in such a short time period was phenomenal. It wasn't easy from getting grouped at Fullerton, barely like scrapping wins by these like smaller teams and just looking up at VLR and seeing the guard at number one. The amount of work we were putting in, we deserved to be champions. Oh my God. All the hard work, man. Oh my God. All the hard work. Oh, let's go. 
it's a lot of pressure to fly one to Iceland. I don't know. Uh, sometimes uh, players haven't even flown before and they go to <laughs> yes, their first true. event. You have to face your opponent across the room in a LAN environment. That's a brand new feeling for a lot of players. So I wonder how they're feeling right now. Let's go, boys. We're finally here. Let's show the world what's up. With the guard. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, okay. Smack Yo, you mic. smacking. Really? You're, you're smacking hard. You mean really? Yo, look time, Sai, you have to plant. Sai, you have to plant. Try to save, try to save. Yeah! No! Let's go! Let's go! Wait! Flank. Flank! Flank! Nice try. Thanks, bro. Yo, don't smack that, Jonah. You gotta raise the energy if you wanna win this. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Wait, flashing now, flashing now. Ship right here, Sai. I'll smoke it. I'll smoke it. I'll stay here. I saw you. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go. Four, 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 four. One more, one more. Let's go, I'm standing. Amen, amen. Aim in behind you, with behind you, you. Ding, ding, ding. behind you, behind you. This guy's no! 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 Oh Let's go, boys. Oh, they know about Mike. You gotta go, Jason. Nice, nice, nice try. I'm swinging through. Stairs, stairs. 120 on him. Nice try. Empty. We lost to Optic at that time, and we lost on a little bit confidence, and. You know, it's really bad mood at that time. Elimination is on the line here. It's time to see the guard take on Paper X. Too long. Too long. Last guy, too long. Sunning, sunning. No! Nice. Let's, Let's go. go. Tap. Can't take. Give it sick. Kick it sick. 100%. No! Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Jake. Let's go, Give it the f up. Nice try. Uh, okay. It happens. It's all good. One hit. One dead. Nice. One Rose lurking dead. Nice. Hit me in hell. Play hell, together. Hell, hell. 3v2. Hell, hell last. No! 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 Let's go! Nice try. Right. Everybody dig deep. I don't want to go home. To heaven. Ping the bomb. Six bullets. Nice try. Nice try. Paper X take down the guard. As the first seed from APAC continues forward here, we unfortunately say goodbye to the guard as they return back to NA. Yo, what's up guys? Post L. We're walking around exploring Reykjavik. Pretty cold. It's pretty cold here too. Every time I think about Iceland, I just have fond memories, even though it didn't like didn't go our way. Like there's some people that say like we're chokers, and yeah, we didn't play to our full capability. But you can't tell me anyone that's like ever done that before as their rookie debut. Uh, we just got eighth place. We're climbing a rock, looking <laughs> fabulous. We're getting punished for going 0 2. <laughs> Paper X wasn't cool, man. I'm ready to kill somebody. Right now. <laughs> You know, one of their first tournaments is on an international stage in Iceland when half our team or more hadn't even traveled out of the country. I mean, I think three guys had to get passports for us. So like, uh, we weren't very prepared for it. I think the guys understood that like, you're gonna be uncomfortable at times and you just need to learn to deal with that. Like I can see the players that I'm playing, I can hear them almost. I have cameras all around me. You know, there's a lot of people watching me, so it was just, Nervous and pressure. It definitely was a huge learning experience, and I think we made the best of it. You want to play? Let's play. Quite the arc here for this guard roster who were at the top of the world at one point, Bren, but now find themselves in an uncomfortable situation. They've lost two games in a row at Reykjavik, and now they've come back and they've lost their first. It's time to right the ship. Meta changes in stage two, it hurt us a little bit, and you know, chamber being implemented, we didn't really have like a daddy chamber player just because like the dynamic of the team. And we tried me on Duelist and Saya uh, permanently playing chamber. That didn't really work. We had some close matches in stage two, but we just weren't hitting as hard as we were before. We were just feeling uncomfortable in that meta and we were slow to change. It happens, and it was a good learning experience because you gotta, you know, get over it. Oh, the meta has gotten a pretty solid read on this. Saya player does get out of dodge. Trent here to help over, and oh boy, yeah, it's not looking very good. Oh! Paranoia is not gonna do too much. Nearsighted in close no quarters, way. whatever. Remaining. And Valen was also hiding, playing a little bit more of a reserved location, and that's gonna turn it to a Corey <sighs> 1v3. What fine-tuned team play there, man. To catch that back line, push through kitchen. A little bit of that old the guard flare coming right back at you after a bit of a lull period. And they get their dub. They get a much needed win here. Towards the end, like week four, week five, we started to catch up and we were looking pretty good. If we were to beat NRG and make it into playoffs, I could see us making a deep lower bracket run. Like we were, I was genuinely impressed when we went to Texas. We were looking good, but it was almost too late, right? And you know, some things don't always go your way, you know?
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the BCT NALCQ. Just about ready to jump into the first match between Sentinels and the guard, the revamped Sentinels, as they brought in Zelsus and Shroud, and a guard who is looking to find a win after a very disappointing Stage 2 and Stage 1 Masters. Our first match meeting in Sentinels, obviously you have, you know, a huge amount of, you know, streamers, players, well-known figureheads on that team in the game. They can't be stopped right now, they can't be stopped, they got Shroud! They got Shroud! They have Shroud! They have Shroud! <laughs> they can't be stopped! I think we're pretty chilling, like, I don't think anyone really overthought it, like, oh, this is gonna have a bunch of viewers, you're playing Shroud, like, what are we gonna do, you know? We were very confident going into that match. Is it a simulation? Are we in a movie? The script is perfect. <laughs> I cannot wait for this game to play out. There's so much skill going into this game right now. The viewership was obviously insane, and I wouldn't say it had, like, any effect on us. We weren't, we don't really think about that. We just focus on ourselves and make sure we come out with the win. Coming out. Nice. One lane, one lane, Magic. Yeah, one board, one board. Nice! One enemy remaining. Oh my god! Top of time, top of time. One enemy remaining. Let's go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Oh, 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 Seals at 13 to 15 in their favor. Starting LCQ out with a win instead of a loss was hugely instrumental in just us getting as far as we did because our confidence was better and it just put us in a better spot to succeed. To be 100% honest, we were not satisfied with that win at all. I remember the next day we we're like, guys, this is unacceptable. After that is when we looked pretty polished and we went on to have our run. Iceland for them was about experience. It was sure. about getting the team comfortable on land. They've stuck by this roster. They've had the hard times and they have come back way better. I think that's what makes great teams. When you can yeah. have that flash of brilliance and can be great, but then can take a fall from glory and be able to rally back. It's like the cringe sports thing that everyone <laughs> says, but it's not about the setback. It's about the comeback. And that was what Guard did here in the LCQ. Predictions, Mel, go. go. Guard. Guard. Guard winning icebox. Guard. Guard winning icebox. The desk is you. Unified. Let's see if it comes to fruition. Let's get ready to send it over to our Derek again. What a An absolute dismantling so far. You know, 100 teams, they played really well and we definitely didn't play our A game. We knew we had probably the most confidence going into that we've ever had before. They felt unstoppable and nothing we, we could do would, uh, would work. It just wasn't our day and it was their day, so it's just unfortunate. Obviously, I'm not happy that I lost, but you know, there's always a bright side with everything. You know, I take a step back and I reflect our whole year and it's like, damn bro, we really hit like all three stages as a competitor. We were horrible at the start. You know, had our taste of success in stage one, played bad again in stage two, and then as bad as it stings, you know, getting it ripped away from you so close, like builds character. And I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. 팀으로서 아주 좋은 해였다 생각해요. 솔직히 정말 처음 만든 팀으로서 다들 그런 시즌이었던 것 같아요. 좀더 자신을 자신에게 믿음을 가지는. I have to be proud of what we've done. There's no way you can't be proud of what we've done. Five to six months this year of being away from home, just playing Valorant and trying to be the best. Not many people can can say that, and it's hard, but we all want it, and I would say I'm proud of everyone. I really feel like we have a family here and I care for each and every one of my teammates like I would like any of my closest friends, right? No one expected us to achieve what we did. We changed the NA landscape for the best. I think 
people saw us as a, you know, almost a beacon of hope in terms of like, well, they did it, why can't we? Regardless of losses, like we're still a top team in North America, right? So we can still make these strides to become number one again. I say we are gonna be ready for almost everything next year. We're not rookies anymore. So I think we're gonna see a dangerous guard next year.